here we'll talk about sampling methods it is of three types the first is simple random sample second is systematic random sample the third is stratified random sample coming to the first one here we'll assign numbers to each units random numbers is used to eliminate this personal unconscious bias and each unit has equal chances of being drawn into a sample see for example this marrow or prep ladder promoting uh, people have come to your college right and they are asking you to participate in this lottery so if you win the lottery you'll get a chance of free subscription so, so for this your class of 150 students will participate in it so those people are not biased to any of the students in the class they just select this random numbers from 1 to 150 everyone from the 1 to 150 has equal chance of being drawn into the sample so you'll assign number to each units random numbers is used to eliminate this unconscious bias and each unit has equal chances of being drawn into the sample from the number 1 to 150 everyone has equal chance of being drawn into the sample it is just based on their luck so this technique provides greatest number of possible samples from the 1 to 150 everyone has equal chance miss so it also providing greater number of possible samples now coming to the second one which is systematic random sample see imagine you have gone to some area or some village and there are 60 houses in the village so now you will assign number to every house there and now you will select a number from 1 to 4 just based on your uh, imagination suppose it is a 4 right and we'll have to repeat this 4 at regular intervals by adding 10 or 5 to it so suppose you have selected 4 and we have decided to add 10 at regular intervals it becomes 14 and then it becomes 24 then 34 44 and 54 so we'll select in the area with 60 houses you'll se you are going to select this 4 14 24 34 44th and 54th house for your sample right so this is systematic random sample here the each unit would have same chance of being selected whereas in the first one in the simple random sample each unit would have equal chance of being selected 1 to 150 everyone can get selected but here it has same chance and the number of possible samples is greatly reduced whereas in the first one the simple random sample the number of possible samples were high but here they are getting reduced to the third one which is stratified random sample this is useful where you are interested in analyzing the data by a certain characteristic of the population if you want to do this any studies between male and female or any studies between hindus muslims or christians so this is the study you should go for stratified random sample so this sample is deliberately drawn in a systematic way so that each portion of the sample represents a corresponding strata of universe for example you want to do a study in hindu and muslim so you will take 10 of the hindus and 10 from the muslims right and you will perform a study so this is the stratified random sample so this point is important each portion of the sample represents a corresponding strata of universe so this is about Sampling methods. Bye.